Welcome back to the Map My channel. In today's video, we are trying to find the sum of two variables x and y when we are given the two components of x and y multiplied by each other is equal to 2022. Let's go ahead and get started. If we take a look at the left hand side of the equation, what's contained within this red color bracket, we will notice that the two components look identical to each other except the variables replacing each other. Let's try and make use of this fact. Let's take a look at the x part of this equation. I have x plus the square root of x squared plus 2022. I can go ahead and multiply that with x minus the square root of x squared plus 2022. If I do that, I can make use of the formula of a minus b, a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. In other words, I can rewrite this expression here as x squared minus the square of x squared plus 2022. And from here, I can get the answer of minus 2022. So let's substitute this into our original equation and try to simplify it. So now what I have is x plus the square root of x square plus 2022 multiplied by x minus the square root of x square plus square 2022 multiplied by y plus the square root of y square plus 2022 is equal to 2022 multiplied by x minus x square plus 2022. Obviously, I have this on the right hand side because when I multiply that on the left, I have to do the same thing on the right to balance things out. From here, I know that this part right here is equal to negative 2022, and the y component remains the same. So I have y plus y squared plus 2022 square root is equal to 2022 multiplied by x minus x square plus 2022. We will now divide both sides of the equation by negative 2022. And from here, on the right hand side, I have y plus the square root of y square plus 2022 is equal to negative x plus the square root of x square plus 2022. We'll go ahead and call this equation 1 and use it later. On the following step, let's go back to our original equation, this part right here we are going to repeat the exact same step by multiplying that with y minus the square root of y squared plus 2022. So basically what I have now is this will be y and this will be y squared. Again, this will be y and y square
I have y square minus the square root of y plus 2022 square. Again, we come to the same answer of negative 2022. And we are going to do the same thing to the equation. Just to make things clear, again, I'm going to write out the original equation showing what we have done. So, on the left-hand side of the equation, I have x plus the square root of x squared plus 2022 multiplied by y plus the square root of y squared plus 2022 multiplied by y minus the square root of y squared plus 2022 that's equal to what we have on the right hand side which which is 2022 multiply by y minus the square root of y square plus 2022. From here, I know that what's within the green bracket is equivalent to negative 2022. And in other words, I can write this as negative 2022 multiply by x plus the square root of x square plus 2022 is equal to 2022 multiply by y minus square root of y square plus 2022 if i re if i divide both sides by negative 2022 I end up with x plus the square root of x square plus 2022 is equal to negative y plus the square root of y square plus 2022. We are going to call this our equation 2. Let me copy down our equation 1 from earlier and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So I have y plus the square root of y square plus 2022 is equal to minus x plus the square root of x square plus 2022. If we go ahead and add these two together, 1 plus 2, we'll notice that the square root terms actually will cancel each other out. So what we are left with is x plus y on the left hand side is equal to minus x plus y. In other words, x plus y plus x plus y equal to 0. 2x plus y equal to 0 and x plus y is obviously equal to 0. And that's the final answer to today's question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. God bless.